Today we're talking about misfires, specifically on Acura and Honda models. Uh, this one here is a 2003 Acura 3.2 CL Type S. Uh, it's throwing multiple misfires on all the cylinders. We replaced the spark plugs and all the ignition coils and we still have the misfire. That only leaves really one, one of two options, either A, the computer's bad, or B, it's going to be the EGR ports. So we're going to do a step-by-step -step on how to check the EGR ports, clean them out, and see if that solves our problem. Now to get to the EGR ports, what we're going to have to do is take off all these cowlings. So we're going to take off all the plastic screws, remove this cover, then take off these bolts, the four bolts all the way around, and take off the plastic cover. Once we do that, we're going to take off the top of the intake manifold right here, these six bolts. So we're going to do a step-by-step -step right now. Go ahead. I just got my tools out. I just removed this plastic cover. Those two screws on this original cover are uh, only half turns. So you just take those right out and you have no problem. Now we're going to remove these four bolts. They are 10 millimeter. Uh, if you don't have a 10 millimeter, you should not be working on cars. If anybody saw that, I just heard it hit the street, so we're in good shape. Thank God that one didn't get lost. That would have been a pain. Normally I'd be doing this two hands, but I'm trying to record it all for you. This whole process should take about 30 minutes in total. Uh, if it takes you any, it might take you a little bit longer if you've never done anything like this before, but it's pretty simple. Okay, so we got this whole plastic cover off. We're gonna set this down on the side. Make sure you don't step on it. I've seen people do it. Now. These appear 10 millimeter again. We're going to take them all off. The, be the best thing to do, it actually has Acura technician uh, tech pages about it. Make sure your gasket's on right. You should see these two tabs sticking out. If you don't see them sticking out, you're going to have to order another gasket. Um, I don't know why there's technical bulletins about them, but apparently this has been taken. They are commonly taken off from mechanics, and sometimes they put them on upside down. If they're put on upside down, you will need to replace it. And you can tell based on those two tabs. So, we're move right along, take off the, all the bolts. And, and this certainly beats doing it by hand. Okay, we definitely still have that, that's not a problem. It's definitely going to take me longer because I'm trying to do it videotaping. I wish I had somebody videotaping for us. Okay. Now we're just going to take a screwdriver. Try to pop that cover off. Be gentle about it. It comes right off. Oh yeah. If you take a look at these tracks, let me see if I can show you. These are definitely clogged and definitely going to need to be cleaned. Um, if you see that channel right here, I'm trying to focus. See that channel is all gunked up with nonsense. Let's see if I can stick a screwdriver in it to show you exactly what's going on in here. grossly easier with another hand. I mean, it's just, I can't hold it. Here we go. Just to give you an idea how much gunk's in there. This is definitely the cause of the misfire. Um, you're going to have to take a look through, there's going to be six holes. One, it's clogged. Two, it's clogged. Three, it's clogged. Four, five, Six is good. If we clean those all out, use some brake cleaner. We've got a little bit of oil in here, it's not a big deal. If we clean those out, we should be good as new. Okay, folks, so we just went through all these channels. I didn't clean them out yet, but I was, you know, you can see all the carbon buildup and everything in here. I'm sorry I can't zoom in, it's raining outside. Uh, so I just pointed out all the ports. I looked at the ports in the gasket and thought they were clogged. They are not. I just bought this car secondhand, um, and somebody has taken this cover off. Because if you look, 
I took on closer inspection. I was I was removing the gasket to clean out all the channels and everything. And when you take off this gasket, you can see the holes aren't lining up with the EGR ports. Here are the EGR ports. One there, one there, they go all the way around. Now they're dirty inside, but they're not clogged. But if you put the gasket back in place, it completely covers the holes. So let's take a look at it. Flip the gasket upside down. And you see how they all line right up. I wonder if this technical bulletin existed because at the factory they were improperly installed. Uh, this doesn't make sense. I can't imagine why this was ever removed for any reason. Uh, and why would there be a technical bulletin in regards? Uh, so if you are having misfire issues, I would definitely remove this cover, take a look at this gasket, clean it all out in here, but my gasket was installed upside down. Okay, I hope this helps any of you with your misfires. Let, let me know, email me if you have any questions. Final step, the intake manifold underneath is closed. I mean, rather cleaned out. I cleaned all these ports out with some brake cleaner. And then as well as there's a drain and uh, another inlet, rather, in, in down in there as well. Um, clean that out as best as I can. Here's the original gasket. The tech data says to replace the gasket, but, I mean, as you can see, it's very clean. I really looked it over, checked all the edges. Uh, it's definitely going to be significantly better than it was being put on in the right direction. Uh, and then the top of the intake manifold, before you couldn't see all the channels, I completely cleaned it out with brake fluid and a brush and really scraped off all the gunk and nasty oil. And you can see all these channels are going to be much cleaner. If you replace the spark plugs and the ignition coils, take a look at this. This is guaranteed your problem if you still have the misfire. Okay, thanks for watching.